Hello everyone, welcome back to High Caliber Haymaker. Today I've got my Henry 3030X model out here today. This is my go-to hunting rifle here in South Carolina. Of course there are larger, faster rounds out there, but for where I hunt and things like that, this is really all I need. So don't knock on me too much, I do also like the classics. So a 30-30 round definitely fits in that category. 30-30 uh, also is kind of expensive, so I do have some reloads out here. These are 150 grain and then I've got some Remington 170s. I also have, as you look in the strap here, I've got some uh, lever revolution ammo as well, so the soft tip, so we'll probably shoot one of those. Uh, we won't do a lot of shooting, I just kind of wanted to go over some key features and just highlight some things that, why I think this is a good option for you, uh, if you know you hunt on fairly level flat ground and you're shooting between, you know, 30 all the way up to about 200 yards, it's definitely, it'll definitely get the job done. Uh, out of the box, the only thing I've really done to this thing is I've added a hammer extension right here just to make things a little bit easier. I do sit with it cocked and locked uh, most of the time, uh, but when nothing's really going on, I do release the hammer down, which uh, Henry does claim is safe to do. And of course, you've got your tube fed option. You do have your side gate for loading here. Holds five rounds, and also it does have the threaded barrel there on the front, and it does have the night sights as well. But Henry really stepped it up with this one for sure especially going with their, what they would consider tactical style. You know, you've got your polymer butt stock instead of wood, and also you have your M lock up here, so you can put a light on there for those, you know, bumps in the night, especially out in the woods when you're coming back, uh, especially if you're pretty far out there. Just having that ability to mount that is, is great. As well as you do have a Picatinny rail here, so you can either mount your light there as well, or even do a bipod if you're sitting in a, a stand that has like a table. Um, so I do have my little tripod out here just because the shots that we're going to be taking here are about 125 yards, so we'll get into that here in a second. But like I said, Henry's just really stepped up their game, and I'm super pleased with this model. So, and like I said, we're about 125 yards out. I'll put the camera behind me so you can just see just how far it is, and it's it's a fun thing to shoot. And as well as 3030 is not packing that much of a punch as far as recoil goes, but this is not exactly a light rifle, so it does help cushion that blow quite a bit. So let's get into it. So I'm behind the camera right now, uh, change the angle for you. First thing I wanna do is just zoom in just so you can see just how far out we are. Um, of course, in my other videos, you've seen my steel targets where I've pretty much been right up on them doing self-defense distances and things like that with other pistols and stuff. So before we get into that, I'm gonna try to move this as carefully as I can and I'm gonna zoom in so you can just see just how far out we are. So that's three times zoom, that's 10 times zoom, Let's go a little bit more. That's 20. So you can just see just how far we are. So now I'm gonna go all the way back to our original zoom footage. And this is where we're at. Literally looks like a little speck out in the middle of the field over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up one of my reloads first. That's 150 grain. And definitely you'll be able to hear it from here for sure. So a great thing, like I said, about these lever actions from Henry with the side gate loaders is if you do put some kind of muzzle brake on the front or if you do put a suppressor on, uh, your tube will hit whatever is up there. So that's why they went with the side gate. So kudos on them for that. As well as something to keep in mind of is if you do have a bipod on it, you're gonna want one that you can angle your rifle with, not one that's fixed. So you have enough room to do your action here. So again, 125 yard shot, 150 grain, 30-30. So let's get to it. I'm going to zoom all the way in as well. As you can hear the ring there. And of course with any kind of lever action, I mean it's the same as a pump shotgun. Whenever you're doing your action for these kinds of things, make sure you do it with some force. So you can extract that round and load the next one. So since we only loaded one, we're going to go over a couple more things. So I've brought you down kind of ground level with me so you can get some side angles as well just so you can see just how well and quality rifle this is. So we're going to go with a Remington 170 grain here. Again we're at the same distance, 125 yards. Going to just keep doing one at a time. And 
There you go. So like I said, with the recoil, it's really not that bad because the rifle has so much heft to it, it just eats half of it. Again, so we got our Carlson extended hammer piece here. And the reason I use that is so if I'm in my tree stand, when I'm walking through the woods, you know, I've got my rounds loaded in, got it ready to go, and then I can simply just drop my hammer and then I can throw it over my shoulder and not have to worry about it. So the great part is, is I'm gonna pull the hammer back just so you can see because obviously deer can hear fairly well and that's what I hunt mostly with this thing. So you can just see just how quiet it is. So this is just gonna be one of those dead silent parts of the video just so you can kind of hear the audio of how quiet it is if I do see a deer come into the field. Just has that little click. That's all that's there. Now the downside is if you take your shot and you miss and the deer doesn't go anywhere then you're kind of running into something a little bit different than you would with a bolt action rifle or something else that you'd be hunting with. Is you know, you can extract that round fairly quietly, lock back down your bolt, and then you're good to go. So with lever actions, like I said, you have to be a little aggressive with them. So if you go quiet, I mean, you can already hear all that sound. So you have quite a bit difference. Now, once you get more familiar with the lever action rifle, you know, you can do it fairly quickly. But at the same time, that's a lot of sound. You want to, especially if they're further out, you know, you kind of better your chances because it's still not that loud. Because it does run so smoothly, it doesn't have a lot of audio to it. But at the same time, deer startle very easily. So that's just something to keep in mind. So, up next, we're going to load one of our Hornady rounds. The Lever Revolution. This stuff's pretty expensive. So we're only going to do one of those today. But for you guys, it's worth it. And I wish you could have seen that because that whole target almost just fell over. That thing hits that hard. So if you haven't seen the Lever Revolution ammo, you really need to check out the video that I've seen on it where they shoot it into a gel block. And they do just a standard 150 grain, uh, I think it's a Winchester ammo, and then they shoot the Hornady in a different block shortly after that. And I mean, just the damage that this thing can put out is incredible. And that's a lot of reason why people go with larger loads or different types of hunting ammunition or like, you know, 308, 30 six, 4570 government, as you know, they want to hit their deer so hard that it really doesn't go anywhere after the shot, which I totally understand that. But at the same time, if you shop your ammo right, you typically don't run into that issue. So if you go with the lever revolution, that's what I use while I'm hunting, um, especially if I know I'm going to be in an area where I can get quite a few deer. That's what I want because the impact that it has, it puts the deer down fairly quickly. Obviously, hunters want to be as humane as possible in that aspect. Um, nothing wrong with these other, you know, soft tips, uh, 3030s. But at the same time, it just depends on what you're hunting and where you're hunting, in my opinion. So, we're going to load up five. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera in the middle of the field. So you can see the targets better. And then I'm still going to shoot from back here. So give me a second to get that situated and then we'll take a couple more shots. All right, so I'm walking through the field here. As you can see, we have our 100 yard mark and we are back over there. So we're gonna walk up here and I'm gonna drop it at the 50 round mark. And then of course I'll cut the video to fast forward so you're not just, you know, just sitting in silence. One more, one more shot I want to try. So I'm gonna actually put you behind the target. So you'll be able to hear the initial shot and you'll be able to hear it ring. So just so you can get kind of like the, the difference in both of them. I thought it'd be cool just to do that for you guys. It's a risk I'm willing to take. You are angled down, so the camera should be in a safe spot. So I'm gonna go walk that 125 yards. We'll take that shot.
All right, guys, so I walked back over, and there's the hit from 125 yards out, aiming dead center on that thing. Henry lever action, definitely one for the books. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe, get out to the range, knock out some rounds. Hunting season is upon us. Have a great time, and I'll see you next time.